Welcome back. You know, we've made it our mission to monitor the changing climate. Global sea level rise is happening at a shocking rate. Yeah, and a new report from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows the U.S. and the Bay Area going to be caught in the middle. So Grant joining us now with the big takeaways yeah. from this. It's really scary. Staggering report that came out yesterday from NOAA, and I think there's a lot to sift through. So let me break this down for you guys. I took away four main things from this report, and, and with that, we're going to see significant impacts here in the area. Let's head over to our, our maps here, and I, we'll, we'll talk about those four reports. We, we do have this posted on 10tampabay.com. If you want to get into it, they have maps that show you what this sea level rise will look like here in the Bay Area. But the number one takeaway is that we're going to see 10 to 12 inches of sea level rise all along our coast here in the United States. Some places could see a little bit more. Some places could see a little bit less than that. But that's equal to the amount that we've measured over the last 100 years. So what we see in the next 30 could exceed what we've seen over the last 100 years. The second main takeaway is that we're just going to see more damaging flooding, uh, not just from heavy rainfall, but due to storm surge and just tidal flooding. Sometimes we see this nuisance flooding. What we're going to see is that this tidal and surge heights are going to increase and move farther inland, likely 10 times more often than what we see today. This is just over the next 30 years. Now, the third main takeaway is that emissions matter. You see a big push towards more electrical electric vehicles. That's important because failing to curb future emissions could cause three and a half to seven feet of sea level rise by the end of the century. That is significant. So even without curbing these emissions, we expect to have two foot sea level rise. But if we don't, then we could see up to seven feet of sea level rise, and that would have a significant impact to us here in the Bay Area. The fourth one is we have to continue to monitor it. We have to continue to study the impacts of sea level rise on our area, and the ability to understand the factors will be critical for us to continue to mitigate and protect our communities from this inevitable sea level rise, guys.